in his editor's note, uh, India Today editor in chief Arun Puri compares Modi with Ronald Reagan, Rajdeep, making the point that he seems to have this Teflon coating, which no matter what the adversity and what the challenge in terms of economic distress, in terms of COVID management, it doesn't seem to be impacting his net net popularity, which nine years on is pretty phenomenal. You know, two aspects to it. One is, of course, the cult of Modi. Which is, you know, you've got to see him therefore not as your normal politician. The second, I think, and maybe Rahul Srivastava can amplify more on this because he tracks the PMO and Finance Ministry, is this whole Labharti beneficiary uh, project that this government has undertaken. And I think that somewhere suggests that that can offset anti-incumbency at times and build in an element of pro-incumbency. We've seen Rahul in recent times, governments that deliver on the ground are getting re-elected in the last 10 years Anti-incumbency has actually given way to an element of pro-incumbency. Tell us, do you think that that is the focus in a way and the reason perhaps why Mr. Modi is still able to not have a meltdown? See, Razi, delivery is definitely one element that you have uh, given food to 80 crore people over a very long sustained period. It has been a terrible strain on the budget of the government. Uh, the, if you see Ujjula Yojana, it's faltering. But still, if people are backing Narendra Modi, I think the re biggest reason is that who against Modi is in a better position to deliver. The comparison is there. The people say that if not him, who else can be there to deliver as good as he can? I think that is one, that credibility element, not delivery, but credibility element. In that contrast to the opposition. To everybody else. Okay, we'll, we'll come into the opposition in a moment. But you know, that's an interesting factor, Rahul Varma. I was looking at some figures the other day that till 2012, till about 10 years ago, most governments in India were voted out. In the last 10 years, we are actually seeing more governments being voted in than out. Is that a sense you get that Mr. Modi has captured, as our poll seems to suggest, an element of pro-incumbency where despite all the problems that we have with the economy, with uh, Ukraine, with COVID, he still is able to pull it off. Is it the lack of opposition or is there something that Mr. Modi's government may be doing? Uh, thank you, Razdi, for this question. Actually, anti-incumbency is made up of three elements. First is dissatisfaction with the government uh, or, or dissatisfaction with the current situation you are in. Second one is you blame the government and the leader. And third, you think there is an alternative where you can shift and they will provide better solution to the problems you are in. And I think what Raj, and, uh, Raj and, and Rahul are pointing out, basically a mix of these three things. There are economic concerns, and if you go out and ask people, they would tell you about their economic concerns. Uh, but what BJP is able to do, one, they have managed to avoid the blame on the government, and especially from Prime Minister Modi. They have shown political agility to find solution to some of the problems, as you mentioned about the welfare schemes. So, of course, there is problem on economic fronts, but they have managed to offset some of the problems by delivering on these welfare schemes and every time creating a new constituency. So they lose one group or they lose one state, but they try to win something new, right? So this political agility is also keeping them afloat. And third, of course, as Rahul pointed out, is the opposition's weakness to uh, provide an alternative in form of a leader, in form of a message, uh, and other things. 